Welcome everyone, the unknown awaits. Are you ready? Preparedness isn't just a concept, it's a way of life, it's about being vigilant and proactive. We live in a world of illusions, we think we're safe. We build our lives on the assumption that tomorrow will be just like today. We think tomorrow will be just like today. But time is relentless, and change is inevitable. But the wild whispers a different story. Nature has its own plans, often unpredictable and unforgiving. It speaks of uncertainty, of chaos lurking around every corner. The forces of nature remind us of our vulnerability. Are you prepared to face it? Preparedness means having the tools and knowledge to navigate through the storm. This isn't about living in fear. It's about taking responsibility. It's about being ready to protect yourself and your loved ones. It's about acknowledging the unpredictable nature of life and equipping yourself to survive its challenges. Every item in your go bag, every skill you learn is a step towards resilience. That's what being prepared is all about. It's about having the foresight to stock up on essentials and the wisdom to know what you need. We're going to journey into the heart of preparedness. We'll explore the skills and strategies that can make a difference. We'll explore why it's crucial in our uncertain world. From natural disasters to unforeseen crises, preparedness is key. We'll delve into the mindsets of those who prepare and those who don't. Understanding these perspectives can help us make better choices. Most importantly, we'll learn how to embrace preparedness, not with fear, but with a sense of empowerment. So, buckle up. This journey is about building confidence and capability. Get ready to face the reality of our world and learn how to thrive in the face of the unknown. Preparedness is not just about survival, it's about thriving and finding strength in adversity. Life's curveballs expect the unexpected. Life is unpredictable. It has a way of surprising us when we least expect it, throwing challenges and obstacles in our path that we never saw coming. It throws curveballs when you least expect them. These unexpected events can disrupt our daily lives, causing stress and uncertainty. A sudden job loss, a natural disaster, a global pandemic. These aren't just headlines, they are real-life scenarios that can happen to anyone at any time. They're potential realities we must be ready for. Being prepared means having the foresight to anticipate these events and the resilience to handle them when they occur. Preparedness is about acknowledging these possibilities. It's about understanding that while we can't predict the future, we can take steps to mitigate the impact of unforeseen events. It's about having a plan when the unexpected happens. This means having emergency supplies, a communication plan, and knowing what to do in various scenarios. When a storm knocks out power, a prepper isn't left in the dark. They have thought ahead and prepared for such situations. They have backup supplies, alternative energy sources, and the knowledge to weather the storm. This preparation allows them to maintain a sense of normalcy even in the face of adversity. Imagine losing your job without warning. The sudden loss of income can be devastating, but it doesn't have to be. A prepper might have a stash of emergency funds, a stockpile of essential supplies, and a plan to adapt. This foresight can make a significant difference in how one navigates such a crisis. They're not immune to hardship, but they're better equipped to handle it. Their preparation provides a buffer, allowing them to adapt more quickly and effectively. The world is a complex web of interconnected systems. Our lives are intertwined with these systems and disruptions can have far-reaching effects. Disruptions can happen anytime, anywhere. Whether it's a power outage, a transportation strike, or a natural disaster, these events can throw our lives into disarray. The more prepared you are, the better you can navigate these disruptions and protect yourself and your loved ones. Preparation isn't just about survival. It's about maintaining a quality of life and ensuring that you can continue to thrive no matter what life throws your way. Beyond the horizon, when disaster strikes, when disaster strikes, it's not just about surviving the initial impact, it's about enduring the aftermath, the potential for long-term disruption, the breakdown of societal norms. Preppers understand this. They prepare for a range of scenarios, from localized emergencies to large-scale societal collapse. They know that relying solely on external systems like government aid or emergency services might not be enough. They stockpile food, water, and medical supplies, enough to sustain themselves and their families for extended periods. They learn essential skills like first aid, fire starting, and self-defense. They build communities of like-minded individuals, creating support networks for when times get tough. This isn't about living in a bunker, cut off from the world. It's about building resilience, about having the knowledge and resources to adapt and overcome whatever challenges life throws your way. 
two sides of the coin preppers versus non-preppers. This comparison isn't just about who has more supplies or who has the best gear. It's about a deeper, more intrinsic difference in how each group views the world and their place in it. The difference between preppers and non-preppers isn't just about having a stockpile of supplies, it's about a fundamental difference in mindset, a divergence in how they perceive and prepare for potential crises. It's a fundamental difference in mindset. Preppers see the world through a lens of preparedness, always thinking ahead, always planning for the unexpected. Preppers anticipate, they prepare, they take responsibility for their own well-being. They understand that in times of crisis, being proactive can make all the difference. Non-preppers, on the other hand, often operate under an illusion of safety. They go about their daily lives assuming that everything will always be fine, that nothing bad will ever happen to them. They trust that systems will always be in place, that help will always arrive when needed. This reliance on external systems can be comforting, but it can also be a dangerous gamble. While this may be true most of the time, it's a dangerous gamble when the stakes are high. In a real crisis, those who are unprepared can find themselves in dire situations, caught off guard, and without the necessary resources to cope. Preppers embrace self-reliance. They know that in a crisis they might be their own first responders, and they prepare accordingly. They understand that in a crisis they might be their own first responders. They take the time to learn first aid, emergency response techniques, and other vital skills. They learn essential skills, build their knowledge base, and cultivate a sense of resourcefulness. This includes everything from basic survival techniques to more advanced DIY projects that can help them in a pinch. This doesn't mean preppers are lone wolves, distrustful of everyone. Many preppers understand the value of community and work to build strong, resilient networks. Many preppers are active members of their communities, sharing their knowledge and resources with others. They hold meetings, training sessions, and workshops to help others get prepared. They understand that a resilient community is a prepared community. By working together, sharing resources, and supporting one another, they create a network of preparedness that benefits everyone involved. It's about acknowledging the uncertainties we face and taking proactive steps to mitigate risks. This doesn't mean living in a constant state of fear. It's about empowering yourself with knowledge, skills, and resources. It's about having a plan, knowing what to do when the unexpected happens. Look around. We live in a world on edge. Climate change is bringing extreme weather events. Political tensions simmer beneath the surface. Economic uncertainty looms large. The old guarantees of stability are gone. In this new reality, preparedness isn't just a good idea, it's essential. The future may be uncertain but we don't have to face it unprepared. By embracing preparedness, we can face the unknown with courage and confidence. Preparedness is about finding balance. It's about integrating preparedness into your life without letting it consume you. It's about being prepared, not paranoid. Remember, preparedness is a journey, not a destination. It's about continuously learning adapting and improving your skills and knowledge. It's about embracing the unpredictable nature of life and finding confidence in your ability to overcome adversity. Start small. Build a basic emergency kit with food, water, and first aid supplies. Learn a new skill, like starting a fire without matches or purifying water. Connect with your community, build relationships with your neighbors. Preparedness shouldn't isolate you. It should empower you to live your life to the fullest, knowing that you're ready to face whatever challenges come your way. The biggest mistake you can make is waiting for disaster to strike before you start preparing. When the grid goes down, the stores are empty and panic sets in, it's already too late. Preparedness is about being proactive, not reactive. It's about taking action now, while you still have time to prepare adequately. Don't wait for a crisis to force your hand. Take control of your destiny. Start by assessing your current situation. What are your strengths and weaknesses? What resources do you have access to? What are the most likely risks you face in your area? Once you have a clear understanding of your needs, you can start building your preparedness plan. This will look different for everyone, depending on your individual circumstances and risk assessment. The world is changing. The old rules no longer apply, the only constant is change, and the only way to thrive in this environment is to be prepared. This isn't about living in fear, it's about taking responsibility for your own well-being and the well-being of your loved ones. 
It's about facing the unknown with courage, confidence, and a well-stocked backpack. Your journey starts today. Stay vigilant, stay prepared, and never stop learning. The wild is calling and it's time to answer the call. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the heart of preparedness. Now go out there and get prepared. Share your knowledge with others, build a resilient community, and together we can face whatever the future holds.